All right, y'all, we got some goodies in today. We got some new lights for the boat. Outrigger Swamp Eye Gen 2. We got six of these. We got the wires and everything, the accessories. And here we got two of the smaller lights, Silent Series. And these will go on the back of the boat for jumping silvers. All right, we've had some bad weather all week. Everything's still frozen, but uh, the sun did melt some of the snow off the boat, so I figured I'd do a little bit of work. Figuring out where I'm, where I'm gonna put stuff. I got the six light bars are gonna go one here, and then I got a piece of angle, aluminum angle that I'm gonna screw down to the gunnel. So I have two, three, and then three on that side. We're gonna put the lights in first and then worry about extending the deck pack because it, it'll be fishable as is, but I still will build an extension for the deck. So I got this eight foot by, I think it's two inch by eighth inch thick aluminum. I've marked it at the four foot mark, so we're just gonna take a hacksaw and cut this in half. So one for each side for the gunnels. All right, we need to make sure these are gonna fit. Looks like a little bit of, a little bit of a gap right there, because it's not perfectly flat, but that's close enough. What we're gonna do is clamp this down so it's level, and then drill a couple holes here and there and run screws straight into the gunnel. All right, we got two mounted for this side. Obviously we gotta screw this thing down. I'm probably gonna have to take the lights off of the brackets to get those screws in because I can't get a bit with the lights in the way. That's all right. We'll just back these little bolts out, take the lights off, but uh, looks like everything's gonna fit pretty good so far. All right, we're finally getting some stuff melting off here. It's going up into the 40s today. Feels a lot nicer. So I'm gonna do some work on the boat. First thing, we got to take these lights off the brackets so I can get my drill and drill holes and attach these. got three screws on the top and three screws on the side and this thing is pretty dang solid all right we got them mounted on this side I did not get it perfectly flat but that's okay the main thing is it's solid let's go ahead and do the other side all right we got these four installed now we got to figure out the front two and I'll worry about the wiring later so I'm thinking something like this. I want it on this angle here, angle towards the front of the boat because this only comes out at about a 45 degree angle, the light beam, and that's kind of barely facing straight forward. I'm trying to avoid having to mount this on the front, but we may have to. But um, a little bit of a gap here. It's kind of a cosmetic issue, but I don't really see it actually being an issue. It doesn't look that bad. Honestly, before I even screw the front lights down, I'll probably wait for dark just to plug them in and see what the light beam looks like. All right, while we wait for the sun to go down, I'm gonna hook up these uh, T harnesses. Now these are not for the power, these are for the dial. So instead of each light having its own dial, that'd be kind of silly. We're gonna run two dials, one for the left side of the boat and one for the right side of the boat. So it's plug and play pretty much these waterproof connectors that screw on kind of like the uh, Garmin over there you unscrew it it's got a little silicone gasket and, uh, I'll plug
plug it. So we're gonna plug this into the T-harness and link them all together. So I'm gonna put the camera down and uh, make sure I do everything right, and then I'll show y'all when it's done. All right, we've got all six lights hooked up with these T-connectors. Outrigger sells these. The whole thing, everything comes from Outrigger. Even these little transformer boxes, waterproof switch, power supply. This takes your 110 AC and converts it to 24 volt DC. These will run off of 12 or 24 volt. So you can run them off battery as well. So these are the extra dials. We'll keep these as spares. Right, let's turn it halfway. Okay, let's see where, where we're at with this. So this light is sitting the way I want to mount it. It looks like it just cut straight in front of the boat. This one, I'm gonna hold it in place where I want it to go. We're really limited on space here, but I can make it work. And I built a spacer, so it'll actually be mounted like this on an angle. And like that, we've still got a little bit of a dark spot in the middle, but it's really not that dark. I mean, you can shoot fish on it. I think I might just run it like this, and if it's causing an issue while fishing, I can mount one of those silent series lights to the front. Okay, I had to pick up some more hardware before I got these mounted, so obviously it's daytime, and it's kind of been raining. But I got this here for attaching the front lights. Went to Harbor Freight and picked up a rib nut kit. We use these big rib nuts. Also picked up a couple old signs from a buddy that we can use for the deck extension. So we got this aluminum here for the deck extension. Hopefully I bought enough. This light over here, I kind of beat this together, piece of aluminum. I'm gonna drill a couple holes in here, put a couple rib nuts in the hole attach it like that. Put it in. And hold it, hold it flush flat against the hole. Cinch it down till it's tight. back these bolts out real quick put some Loctite on them because uh, I know going down the rough water they're gonna try to back out. Alright we got this light mounted solid. The other one's gonna be a little easier. It's just two rib nuts on the top. Okay, all the lights are mounted, or all six of the light bars are mounted. We still gotta do the back. Everything seems to be pretty solid. We gotta get these wires tucked, of course. Clean everything up. We got a mess here, so everything's wet now. I'll do what I can today. I'll show y'all how it looks when it gets dark here in a little bit. All right, that'll probably be all the work for tonight. I'm just gonna pick up some of my tools and stuff. It is still raining. I don't know if y'all can tell, but we'll get back to work on it in the morning, get all these wires and everything cleaned up the way I want them to be, and then uh, start doing some measurements and cutting for the deck extension. So that'll be it for now. I'll catch y'all soon.